Five rural regions that make up 53% of Spain now have only 15% of its population, according to the National Statistics Office. Over the past 50 years, Spain's countryside has lost 28% of its population and are now known as La España Vecia, or Empty Spain. What is causing depopulation in Spain? In general depopulation processes have been triggered on the European continent as a result of high migration rates from these areas to expanding urban centers, phenomenon taking place in the early decades of the second half of the 20th century known as the rural exodus, given the figures it reached and its impact on the places of origin of emigrants. The reasons that led so many people in most European countries to migrate to the cities had to do with the higher wages paid there, greater job opportunities, or better facilities or services. In short, people emigrated because of the city's capacity to provide higher levels of material well-being. How much of Spain is uninhabited? Yet characterizing Spain as a sparsely populated country does not reflect the experience on the ground, as anyone who knows Barcelona or Madrid can tell you. Spain contains within it more than 505,001 km squares but only 13% of them are lived in. Why are there so many unfinished buildings in Spain? One of the countries most affected by the 2008 global financial crisis was Spain, where a decades-long housing boom went bust almost overnight, bankrupting developers and leaving unfinished housing projects littered across the country, from the suburbs of Madrid to the Mediterranean coast. Does Spain have a countryside? While Spain is famed for its popular holiday resorts and cosmopolitan cities, it is also home to some of Europe's most beautiful rural areas. Head off the beaten track to explore mountains, coasts and countryside in some of the best rural destinations Spain has to offer. Why are Spanish cities so dense? Spain's cities have always been, and continue to be, very densely populated, possibly reflecting both a martial influence that lingered after the expulsion of Spain's Moors and the influence of a Moorish planning style that favored narrow streets as a way of reducing summer temperatures. How many homes are in Spain? The number of households in Spain increased again in 2019 and reached 18,625,700 as an average value, which represented a 0.5% increase over the previous year, 89,800 more households. Who made the Spanish flag? The origin of the current flag of Spain is the naval ensign of 1785, Pabellón de la Marina de Guerra under Charles III of Spain. It was chosen by Charles III himself among 12 different flags designed by Antonio Valdez y Bazán, all proposed flags were presented in a drawing which is in the Naval Museum of Madrid. Is Madrid a real town? The town of Madrid collapsed along with the coal market. In 1954, the Albuquerque and Cirillo's Coal Company ceased to operate, and almost all of its residents moved away. In fact, in that same year, an ad in the Wall Street Journal listed the entire town for sale for $250,000. Is it safe to live in the countryside in Spain? The combination of Spain's social safety net and strict gun laws creates a welcoming cocoon of safety. The 2020 Global Peace Index, which considers crime, as well as war and terrorism, named Spain the 38th safest country in the world. The US was ranked 121 out of 163. The 10 best destinations in the Spanish countryside. 1. Cáceres, Extremadura. 2. Sentinel de las Bodegas, Andalusia. 3. Chinchin, Community of Madrid. 4. La Azogia, Murcia. 5. Cuenca, Castilla-La Mancha. 6. Guedaria, Basque Country. 7. Bisalu, Catalonia. 8. Zujiros, Andalusia. Does Spain have a strong military? Spain is one of the most militarily powerful nations of the European Union, UFR, and Eurocorps. It also occupies a prominent position in the structure of NATO, which it joined in 1982. Is Spain a developed country? Yes, Spain is a developed country. Spain's infant mortality and life expectancy numbers are excellent, 
an estimated three infants died per 1,000 live births in 2020, and the average Spaniard lived to be 82 years from birth during the same year. Why is rent so high in Spain? As a result of the crisis, the supply of rental homes in Spain increased 52% between September 2019 and September 2020. One factor is the transfer of tourist and short-term rental properties to the long-term rental market, as well as the change from sale to rent for owners who cannot reach their price expectations. Is there a housing problem in Spain? Spanish citizens have struggled to find affordable housing in a nation with 21% of the population at risk of poverty as of 2020. Furthermore, roughly 7% of Spanish families live in severe poverty, according to El Pais. To top everything off, the hike in rental prices averages 50% over five years. Why are there so many abandoned houses in Spain? Across the country, an estimated 3.4 million houses remain unoccupied. Many are now owned by large banks, which seized them after their original developers defaulted on their loans.